Very shortly, we're going to be talking about a decision made by Creative NZ. And uh, it's basically, uh, they're pulling out of funding the Arts on Tour uh, feature, which uh, has been something which has been running uh, annually for a while. And Ian Sinclair, the wonderful flamenco guitarist, uh, let me know about this. And uh, he did it last year and he said it was one of the best experiences that he'd ever had. He had uh, excellent audiences everywhere. And uh, the creator, Steve Thomas, uh, pretty shocked by this. Um, he's um, he's having a meeting with the board today uh, to to discuss where to go from out here, and he's also had some incredible feedback from people too, uh, people who are disappointed and shocked, and uh, and, and someone who who actually did um, an arts on tour uh, play this year was Michael Hurst, the actor. He uh, brought us the Golden Ass, and he's on the line now to discuss this. Hey, Michael, thanks for coming on the show. Morena, how are you? Hello. Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's afternoon, isn't it? Can you get? Can you give me the rayo for afternoon? <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Same. Okay, you and I need to swat that one up and be better. We pre- do. Yeah, but but uh, yeah, Morena. Anyway, it's a, such a beautiful word, isn't it, Michael? What um, what do you think of uh, this decision? Well, I'm. I'm. You know, it, it's a surprise. I'm shocked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean. Um, I don't know what to say, really. It's just, mm. seemed, it's very sad. I'm saddened by it. Mm. Um, I mean, thinking about, you know, I mean, obviously they'll have reasons, uh, Creative New Zealand, and uh, and I know they never have enough money, which is always the underlying uh, tension of any of the grants that, you know, are given because um, there's just always way more, there are always way more applicants than there are, is money. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and they'll have all their priorities too, which they, you know, have to sort through but you know i'd love to know what their how they came to that decision i mean i guess you know i don't really know um i would love to know why and 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 i guess they've got the um access aspect of it covered in my point of view arts on tour was brilliant because it allowed us to get out there Mm. you know into the the smaller towns and you know I, i i guess that's covered i don't know Right, because I mean, for example, look at look at the Golden Ass, which wasn't that long ago, and you did come, no. you you did go to some interesting. But was it was it Twizel, uh, Arrowtown, and so cre- yep. Creative New Zealand, they they promote all this as well, don't they? They organise it. They they it's it's great for performance. No, arts on arts on tour are the organisers. Right. I mean, I think they get money from they they were, they had I think they have Kaikatea status or something like that. I think they have they basically basically whatever it is, they've been defunded. Which you know, I think it, you know, I don't know what the alternative is, but um, yeah. So that's how that works. And and yes, I mean me, um, the because um, um, arts on tour would do all the admin and do all the negotiating with all the venues, and there's a deal, and they can guarantee this, and they're brokering the deals and everything. So all of that work is done by them, which is, I mean, and then we. Um, uh, we, whoever makes, you know, each mm. individual group make, could make money, all of that, all of those uh, arrangements. Mm. So, you know, it's a bit, um, it, it, was, it was just a lot easier for artists. It's a, so much easier. It's that, yes. exactly the purpose. So the artists could get out there. Yes. So. And get on with doing what they need to do, which is putting on the show yeah. and focusing on the, the rehearsing and what have you leading up to, uh, to the tour. Because actually, well, you're... Yeah. You know, your tour recently, that was, uh, you took in a lot of places, didn't you? Yeah, we did. We did 28 towns. Um, and uh, the previous ones were the, the, roughly the same, 30, 32 towns, and mm-hmm. lightning tours and, you know, um, arts on tour supply, a vehicle and, you know, all of that and accommodation. So the money is really well spent. I mean, in a way, mm. that facility, the facility of having um, accommodation taken care of means that you can... Uh, that is like being funded by Creative New Zealand, and so indirectly they would be—they're actually funding artists as well. So that's another layer that's missing. That's now going to be missing. Mm. It is interesting, Michael, that there's a lot of feedback. Uh, Steve has uh, has sent me some of the—I mean, just in the last 24 hours since since this right. has come out—and it's from it's from. 
playwrights. It's from, I mean, there's one one uh, message that's come in and they've just signed themselves Mr. and Mrs. Angry of Geraldine. <laughs> and, which I, th- well, they, I think is wonderful because they say, after years of delivering the best of New Zealand's established and emerging talent to often remote, rural and isolated communities, there's too much goodwill on the line simply to be cast off in this way, which I thought was really well written and observed. Well, that's there it is in a nutshell, isn't it? But, mm-hmm. you know, l- let's see what their reasons are. Mm. I mean, you know, they'll have reasons, and they're a government department. I mean, the whole thing is that they have to tick boxes, don't they? Mm. Well, that's and right. Wonder, you know, and I guess that's really what it comes down to. Every time, you know, I've applied to CNZ, it's, it has come down. To, you literally are ticking boxes, and mm. to try and well, you know, it goes into the whole area of fairness and equity and all of that. And mm. you know, I wouldn't want to be one of one of the people having to balance that. Yeah, I mean, I've asked, I've asked for comment from them, and I'm still waiting. So hopefully they'll come back to me and and perhaps uh, talk about, you know, why why they made this call. But I mean, Arts yeah. on Tour has been going for what has it been? Has it been over thirty years? It's a long time. It's a long time. Yeah, wow. twenty something years. Yeah, definitely. It's um, it's a long time. And whether it's developed over that period, I'm not sure. But mm. um, yeah, and I've you know, see, I've recommended other colleagues of mine who've developed shows go go to arts on tour and they've been and it's been great for them i've seen them be able to go on tour you know mm-hmm. so mm. fantastic and so, you yes, know, it's a sad thing i just like to be it would be great to hear how they i mean i think people need to be upfront about why they're making these decisions i think Right. Well, I've seen the release and it doesn't really detail it. It just talks about those no. those um, organisations that will uh, be funded. So right. it would be nice to see that in a nutshell, but I'm hoping by the end of the, the next couple of hours we might have something a bit a bit clearer. But I know uh, that, um, that, that uh, you know, the creator of all this uh, is going into a... Um, Steve Thomas is uh, having a yeah. meeting with the board. So, uh, and, you know, he said... Um, I asked him whether he might try to have it overturned I guess that's uh, pretty um, an impossible dream really but uh, he said he would like to he would like to gauge public feeling and then take it from there I think that's yeah that's fair mm. yeah, it should. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's right and so so it has been it has been a crucial and wonderful um, uh, organization to 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 help artists tour Ian Sinclair is another uh, great uh, uh, yep. guitarist actually, performer who benefited from this and he said the Arts on Tour thing was one of the, and he's, he's played a lot of places, he said it was one of the best things he's done, would you say that about some of the things you've done I with him? loved it yeah, yeah, I, I totally loved it and uh, every time I've gone, you know, the Q&A afterwards is you know, uh, totally memorable because everybody's had a great time and are enjoying discussing whatever it is they want to talk about, you know, in terms of the art form, you know, for me, it was, we had this fantastic time. Look, for, for me as a performer, it's made me stronger. I'm comp- I've learned heaps on touring in this way. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I've had, I always have a splendid time, feel like I'm really doing, I'm at the coalface, you know, the proper theatre coalface in the community. So I don't know how we're going to be able to, do that without some well put it this way we can do that it's just so it was so much easier the access was so much greater with arts on tour because it was you know that was their point that was the reason for them to be there so mm. well it's, it's certainly yeah. the end of an era if if this yeah. uh, this comes about uh, like i say I just is. just reading some of these comments people are um People, but one one comment. Listen to this. That is unbelievably crap news, Steve. Can we protest? <laughs> and and it's a musician. It's a music a musician saying this. You know, uh, but but it's not. But it's everyone. Everyone has 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 a. Uh, and I think also the timing's sad because because uh, I said to you off air that we've come through these two years of very um, living in a cultural desert yeah. even more so than normal. And everyone is embracing getting out, and everyone, particularly, I think this. You know, this, I think what's coming through a lot is uh, Waipanamu, uh, the South Island. Like, yeah. people here feel isolated and feel a bit left out sometimes. <laughs> and I think Arts on Tour did bring people to the more out of the way towns, and that's why it's going to be missed so much, perhaps. I, I'd say so. I mean, you know, down in Hokitika or in Takaka or Stewart Island. You know, I went down there one one time. Um, and also up in the north, you know, um, the far north, you know, Kaitaia, all those places. Yeah. Yeah. So, and listen. But, I mean, you know, yeah. and you're right, the timing is, the timing is, 
unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> it is unfortunate because and because we're having a you know here in Auckland we're having a a real um, upthrust of performances and mm. people are getting out you know and we I've, I've seen three plays in the last two weeks. It's been amazing to oh, sort fantastic. of be, be able to do that and and um, so you know you you'd think that it would be counterintuitive to make it more difficult in the provinces as it were. <laughs> yeah, well, this is this is the thing. So it is. Uh, it's an interesting mm. time, and we will find out more. I have had a text through. I don't know if you can respond to this though. Uh, it's from Peter. He said, "Ask why Creative New Zealand funds a rival media company like the spin-off when arts funding is so highly contested amongst artists." Now we're getting a bit political, aren't we? <laughs> so maybe. Well, I don't. I yeah, didn't I even don't know, really that. know the answer to that. Yeah. No, I didn't know well, that. Well, it's news to me. It's always, every time, it's there is so much pressure on the. Yeah, on the tight amount of money that's that's available in the pot, and yeah, yeah, in the pot, and then they have to say things like, you know, you can only go so many times for the same project, mm -hmm. and so on. So you know, time moves on. Independent assessors, though, and that's the other thing. Um, so what? Well, let's just see where it goes. I, I, I don't yeah. want to, um, you know, put you on a spot in any way, and I just appreciate you just talking about your mm. personal experience with Arts on yeah. Tour. Yeah, and yeah. And I've, I've got a caller, so I might leave it at that, Michael. And Okay. And wish you all the best for a, a wonderful spring in Auckland. And oh, before you go, uh, are you going to be in a play anytime soon? And can we come see? <laughs> see me in a play? It's what's you what's mean? coming up next for you that uh, it, oh, in the next few months? No, well, yeah, I, actually, I'm, I'm going to be directing some television next. Power Rangers, can you believe it? Ah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> so, and that's going to be fantastic. So I'm doing that till the end of the year, and then um, yeah, and then we'll be doing. Um, I'm not sure what's happening after that. So mm, probably yeah, a holiday. <laughs> Probably all day, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the rest of the country. Hey, hey brilliant to yeah. chat as always, Michael Hurst. Okay. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye Thank bye. You. Thank you. Uh, Michael Hurst, the brilliant actor. And we're discussing the Creative NZ decision um, to defund Arts on Tour.